Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel friends. Today is Mother's Day and we will be talking about a mother's diet. It's very important for every single to be mother and new mothers. A new mother always has a lot of questions about breastfeeding nutrition. How, what should they eat, what should they avoid and will their food affect their baby if so what do they need what information do you need so that's why this video is very important and but obviously uh, happy mother's day to all the mothers uh, out there and uh, a very warm thank you from the bottom of my heart for being there for your children right let's start this topic today <music> The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. So if you're breastfeeding, you need to remember that you are giving your baby the nutrition which they need right, to promote their growth and health. So your needs will increase your own nutritional needs will increase right so first question do you need extra calories while breastfeeding but of course yes you might need extra calories a little more calories but that will depend upon how many calories you are taking already right if you are taking a regular amount of normal calories then you will need to take additional 300 to 400 calories every day to keep up with your energy needs right now to take these calories you need to take good uh, choices of foods like nutrient rich choices including whole grains uh, right you can take uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter uh, medium banana or apple extra or eight ounces or something like uh, 250 grams of yogurt extra on top of whatever you are eating on a daily basis right so this is what you need then what kind of foods you need to eat during breastfeeding right you need to focus on making healthy choices to help fuel uh, you know the milk production inside you it's very important for that you need protein rich foods because protein will make milk right so if you are non vegetarian you can go for meat egg or if you are vegetarian you can take milk then dairy is your best choice vegetarians can go for beans lentils and if you like then if you like seafood then you need to opt for seafood which are low in mercury you need to avoid less amount of uh, you need to take care of those seafoods very carefully right then uh, you need to take obviously the whole grains vegetables fruits that they are very very important right what you need is you need to change a variety of foods different types of foods uh, during breastfeeding now what will that do that will literally change the flavor of the milk of breast milk yes it does your variety of foods change the flavor of your breast milk and this will expose your baby to different tastes which will help them right to adapt to solid foods more easily down the road now that is good right because it's very difficult for mothers to get their babies off milk and onto solid food right one of the most common problems of nowadays mothers are that the children don't eat right so this is how you solve that problem and to make sure your baby is getting all the vitamins and uh, minerals your doctor might actually uh, prescribe you uh, recommend you to take your prenatal vitamins later during breastfeeding as well so that's what you should eat during breastfeeding right obviously you need to listen to your doctor and how much should you drink fluids see drinking is should be very frequently preferably before even you feel even little thirsty right if you're feeling thirsty you're already dehydrated remember that then drinking more is very important if your dark if your urine is dark colored right it should be a light or light yellow or white right have a glass of water uh, nearby always whenever you are breastfeeding your baby because after that you need a glass of water right and 
uh, you can actually take a lot of uh, other drinks liquids also but make sure to limit the amount of juices and sugary drinks because you don't want to weight gain in those times right you yeah, because your own pregnancy weight is going to lose in the next six months and if you don't uh, make sure to balance your diet then uh, you that's not going to happen right and then the second thing you need to take care is too much caffeine if you take a lot of caffeine that is troublesome right it can also uh, cause problems not just to you but as well as to your baby and the baby might not sleep right so you need to limit your caffeine intake not more than two or maximum three cups per day right or you can prefer decafs right now if you are a vegetarian and uh, having a, a breastfeed breastfeeding then it's very important for you to choose uh, food which are rich in iron protein and calcium very important things then you need lentils all the lentils dals all enriched cereals whole grain products peas dark leafy vegetables and dried fruits to be there on a daily basis and uh, you can also uh, you know to help your body absorb the iron you can eat the iron rich foods with uh, 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 along with foods high in vitamin C such as citrus fruits right it's very important for proteins if you are non vegetarians obviously egg and dairy is good or else vegetarians can at least take dairies or uh, uh, in that case purely vegetarian vegan you can go for legumes lentils seeds whole grain whole grains and nuts they are very good now remember these are very commonly heard but making them uh, you know or uh, noting them down is a good good option right and obviously calcium is very much important and dairy dairy product milk and all is very important and dark green leafy vegetables are very good sources of calcium other sources of calcium are your juices your cereals your soy milk soy yogurt yogurt tofu so they are very good sources of calcium make sure to include it, include them also right obviously your doctor will ask you to have your supplements b12 supplements if you are a vegetarian you need b12 no doubt even if you are taking them you should not take a drink a chance take some b12 supplements and vitamin d supplements are important calcium supplements are also important during that time then what should you avoid the most important question yes number one thing which you need to avoid is alcohol yes there is no level of alcohol which is safe for pregnancy or breastfeeding do not even think about it right don't even think about it no alcohol till you are breastfeeding right till you are doing whatever uh, is needed so zero alcohol that is how it goes and uh, typically it takes uh, what uh, alcohol uh, you can only start alcohol only when your doctor permits you so you can always always talk to your own gynecologist of this issue then second thing caffeine caffeine i already told you why you should avoid and how much you can take fish is the third thing seafood which has uh, which has which is actually a very good source of proteins and omega 3s but seafood may contain mercury and other contaminants right so you need to limit the amount of seafood as well as choose uh, those sea uh, sea fishes which do not eat other fishes right a fish which eats other fish a bigger fish has more mercury than other fishes remember that so you need to eat smaller fishes right so that's how you need that's what you need to avoid right then the big question could your diet cause your baby to be fuzzy or have an allergic reaction see certain foods and drink in your diet could could actually do this could cause uh, your baby some irritation and even an allergic reaction and if your baby becomes fuzzy and develops a rash or diarrhea or congestion soon after nursing then you should absolutely consult a nearby nearby pediatrician or your doctor and if you're suspecting that something in your diet might be affecting your baby then avoid those things avoid those food and drinks and uh, up to at least one week up to a week to see if it might make a difference in your behavior your baby's behavior uh, consider eliminating those foods as well because they can even uh, they if that actually works then you can change your diet and eliminate those things that's okay but you know what uh, to determine the link between your diet and your baby's behavior keep a food diary 
that is very good then list everything what you have what you eat what you drink and keep a notes about how your baby reacts now this is very good this this will help you a lot in and remembering what is good and removing the food and drinks which your diet has an impact on your baby's uh, fuzziness on their on their health on their uh, mood also it's very good for you to do this right and it can it can you can back up your diet and and con- discuss this with your doctor as well remember right there is no need to go on a special diet while you are on best feeding all you need is little more nutrition and simply focus on making a healthy choices and you and your baby will reap the rewards this is all about the diet thank you so much for watching i'm dr paranjit and happy mothers day to all of you stay care if you are breastfeeding and you happen to had an alcoholic drink now there is no level of alcohol in breast milk that's considered safe for a baby but if you drink avoid breastfeeding until the alcohol has completely cleared your breast milk this typically takes at least 2 to 3 hours for uh, 12 hours or 350 ml of 5% beer or it takes uh, or maybe 5 ounces 140 ml of 11% wine and 44 ml of 40% liquor depending upon your body weight also this also matters right so at least 3 hours of gap should be there then pumping and dumping doesn't speed the elimination of your alcohol from the body which means uh, taking it out vomiting or So whatever way you think is not going to work so it's best avoid alcohol during breastfeeding or if you are taking alcohol then don't breastfeed on that day at least for 3 to 4 hours this is uh, this is about alcohol and thank you for watching one more thing how much exercise how much activity should a, a lady a mother do during pregnancy and after pregnancy this is also very important see the recommendation of activity says that you need at least 150 minutes 2.5 hours of moderate intensity activity workout in a week and you need to spread this activity throughout the week and activity should be preferably aerobic activity and only if people if somebody is habituated to do vigorous activity there are people who are you habituated to do that who are regularly gymming exercising sports people then they can actually continue the vigorous physical activity which they are doing and but it's very important in either cases to monitor progress of pregnancy and change your activity level according to your discussions with your gynecologist